Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Just wanted to jump in and show you a little idea that I had sparked from a puzzle box uh, at, the, at the beginning of this week. I had, we had taken a little overnight trip to Gatlinburg and we had come back down into Pigeon Forge and stopped at the island. It's a like a little shopping center right there in the middle of Pigeon Forge, one of the newer shopping centers. And uh, they've got a puzzle store in there. And I love to go, I'm not necessarily like a massive, oh my God, I love puzzles, I do them all the time. But I love going in this store and just looking at all the scenes and, uh, you know, just the artwork of, you know, of all these puzzles. And that is where the idea of Grizzly Beach came from. So this isn't necessarily like, you know, it's not a new park or anything. I just wanted to put this scene together. And, uh, you know, I think the waterfall, it came out okay-ish. Um, let me show you the real artwork. And the, the only thing about, like, my waterfall compared to the real artwork is um, the artwork is a lot more condensed. And the waterfall in the stream, it looks a little more intimate uh, th than what I'm, than what I have, uh, than what I was able to do actually in game. So I don't know if it's like running out of talent or not having the right, um, what's like the right word I'm trying to say? Um, like maybe the right technique to make these, uh, to make these waterfall streams smaller. But you can see here on my version, um, like I said, just really not as intimate. I tried to make it, um, you know, as skinny as possible and kind of having the different tiers. But I think what, a, what, what probably I could do better on this is change the angle of the, uh, of some of the falls, like maybe have the top come in a little more from the left, splash down into a pool, have it switch back to the right splash down. And then the left again, as it comes down into the main pool, um, whereas you can see mine just kind of tears straight down. So, you know, there's always kind of little things you can change and mess with. Uh oh, these two are fighting. <laughs> hey, it, it is, it is Grizzly Beach. And this whole, this whole concept, I figured like the Grizzlies kind of make their way kind of out of this dark kind of, uh, like mountain pass here. So yeah, I've kind of got it built up on each side and I thought it was really cool to have the big mountain kind of over there in the back. And they kind of make their way down through this pass here, or this hollow, if you'd say. And they kind of, like, this is what kind of constitutes Grizzly Beach. Like, you do not want to be down in here uh, camping because they come down through here and they forage for the berries and fish. And, um, you know, I just thought that would, uh, I just thought that would just kind of really be a cool little small scene story to tell. Um, we've got the rocks down here, kind of like in the little splashdown pond. And I figured this would kind of make it, you know, like, you know, form its way into a longer stream. I was also thinking, too, when I got this done, look, she, <laughs> she got out. I was also thinking, how cool would it have been if this, if I, if I would have thought of this, or if I would have, if I would have seen that puzzle piece when we were doing Pine Creek Zoo. Like, wouldn't this have been an awesome, uh, you know, grizzly beach type exhibit? Because, you know, right now, this... Like I said, we're not really looking at this like an exhibit. This is like a, a nature scene, essentially. And she ran the other one off. She's she's claimed the beach. But, yeah, so this is just, uh, like I said, had, had a little fun poking around yesterday. And, uh, I don't know, maybe, you know what I was also thinking? That this would be cool if to uh, maybe add, like, some kind of little lodge right here. That, you know, that it's kind of, like, maybe elevated and... You know, maybe some kind of, uh, you know, fishing or guide lodge um, where they can try to, you know, got to be safe from the from the grizzly bears. But um, also, uh, I just thought that would be cool. And a little, little cut up. It'd be cool if we had like a breeding pair in here and they had like they had some little cubs. They're about to fight again. Oh, you know what? I know why. One of them's a Himalayan brown bear and one of them's a grizzly bear. <laughs> but still, grizzly beach. <laughs> Ooh. That'd be a cool uh be a cool thumbnail right there. That was a good that was a good timed pause. 
if I can get this down here. There we go. Could you imagine, though, like, facing a grizzly bear? Like, say you were out, like, I have a buddy, a fishing buddy. Um, he goes, like, you know, fishing almost all the time. You know, he's retired now, so he doesn't, you know, have to worry about work and all that. But he goes out to Ennis, Montana, and he fly fishes out there. Um, a lot of times, usually he goes in August, as a matter of fact, July or August. He said he's been out to Montana on July um, he said he's been out there on July 4th and has woken up to frost on the ground July 4th morning. But, um, anyways, he goes out there and he fly fishes in Ennis, Montana. And, um, you know, he is right in the heart of grizzly bear country out there. I'm like, man, how do you walk around with the, <laughs> with the size of your, uh, you know what? And, uh, and you know, he, he does take his pistol with him and he has bear spray, but, I'm just not, um, I'm not committed enough to fishing to, uh, kind of risk my life to fish. And, uh, yeah, so he, uh, he definitely has some, uh, definitely has some experience out there with, uh, with, with, uh, you know, just fishing in grizzly bear territory in that, you know, rugged Montana terrain, kind of going back into thickets as you're making your way to the stream you're going to fish on. Some, now, I could see, like, sometimes out there he fishes on the, uh, he'll fish on the Ruby River and the Madison River. He said he's never seen any grizzly bears out there, but it's a little more wide open. But he also goes back, like, he goes, like, where he drives, you drive, like, three or four miles off of the road just to park and then he walks another two or three miles to get to the stream where he's actually fishing and uh, you know he says he absolutely there are times where you go through um, you know kind of deeper thickets like this to kind of get back to where you're going to start at and you know I'm like he's I'm like what do you do and he said uh, make a lot of noise. He said, I talk to myself, you know, I'll just, I'll sing. I'll, you know, I, he said, I have a bell that I uh, bring with me. And that, that, that reminds me of a really funny joke. But, um, you know, he, he said, just basically I make noise. Just, you don't just try not to sneak up on a bear. So give them enough time to, you know, get out of the area, clear the area, which most likely they do. Um, well, as actually for him, they have the last, you know, 14, 15 years that I've known him and he's went out there. But anyways, guys, yeah, I just kind of wanted to jump in and, and show you our little scene here. And uh, we've kind of got our bears mixed up. But nonetheless, this is Grizzly Beach. Let me know if you want to see me continue this and maybe kind of just maybe what if we make this like a just a big nature preserve or something, you know, and just kind of maybe continue this as a little side project. And it's just like we'll build stuff for animals that would be up here just like on the mountain. I wish we had like a big moose and stuff like that. That would be cool. So I don't know how far we could take this, but we could definitely like do uh, do a lot of terrain and foliage practice and, you know, see how you guys end up liking that. And, uh, but yeah, just let me know. Let me get, uh, let me get her out of here. <laughs> Before any more damage is done. And, uh, but yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to smash that like button if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe for more Planet Zoo mischief. And, uh, got another Microsoft Flight Simulator video coming out today. We haven't officially flown over Universal Studios, Florida. So let's go ahead. We'll get that one in the books and get that out so you guys can check that out and see what it looks like in game. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming out and hanging out with me. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. See ya.